I'm going to get it started. And you know what? I'm going to tee you up for this with a question of my own. What do you think of Chevin Cordero, San Jose State's quarterback? Oh, I think he stinks, but I did bet on him last week and he came through for me. But he does stink. Well, their defense he, is good, though. Their defense is good, and their past <laughs> defense in particular is top 10 in a few key metrics, but they played some really lousy, lousy passing attacks. This one, to me, is the culmination of everything that's been working for Marcus Arroyo and in Las Vegas. I think this is a squad that offensively, if Kyle Williams is healthy, apparently he's a game time decision with a, a leg injury, according to their coaching staff. If he's ready to go, Ricky white and Williams on the perimeter Brumfield, who we all assumed it was going to be Harrison Bailey at quarterback. And we, you know, when you get a, a power five program player in there, it was a fait accompli that he was going to be the QB one. Brumfield showing why he held him off. He's been great. He's been a true dual threat, 13 total touchdowns against just two turnovers. And then you fold in Aiden Robbins. This guy, talk about, you're talking about McBride being a wagon. This this transfer from Louisville, he is a beast. He's got eight touchdowns on the year already. I really like UNLV. I like underdogs that can score. I like when they have balance offensively. I think they just need a little bit of turnover luck. And at plus 220, I think this should be much closer to like a three or four point spread. This is all the way up to a touchdown. So I'll take advantage of the value north of two to one. UNLV, I understand it's been it's been some time since they've been good. They entered the season on a 24 and 67 run, but here they are four and one on the year you know, knocking on the door of bowl eligibility. They need to get a win like this to get over the hump. But the Mountain West this year is wide open. You know, when Boise is not Boise anymore and Fresno has quarterback issues with Hayner on the shelf, this, anybody can win this conference at this point. So why not UNLV? Or is it Chevin Cordero in your heart? Kind of like, you know, friends become enemies, enemies become friends. No, I, he stinks. Uh, <laughs> I will say, you want to you know what I love about you, Breeze? And I have, you're a lot braver than me. We have yet to win, hit a single one of these underdog bets, and you're still out here swinging at touchdown dogs, swinging at a plus 220. You just, no fear, just keep blindly firing darts. I love it. I respect the hell of it because I don't have that kind of balls. I'm going with a little baby, plus 130. Play minor nation. Just give it to me. Sometimes when you, you can't win a bet with your brain, you got to start picking with your heart a little bit more. But anyway, my brain does tell me Louisiana Tech's really bad. They're one and three this year. They're lone wins against Stephen F. Austin. Granted, I mean, they played Missouri Clemson, but they also got blown out by South Alabama last week. They're 109th in the country in success rate on both offense and defense. They're 105th in finishing drives, 116th in creating havoc. They don't do a thing well. They have used both Parker McNeil and Matthew Downing at quarterback. They've combined for nine touchdowns, 11 interceptions. The defense has been shredded, especially on the ground. And, you know, UTEP clearly hasn't been what they were last year, but they've won two straight. They're starting to get better. And I like the way they've won the two straights with a low-scoring game against Boise State where their defense absolutely dominated, basically got half their coaching staff fired. And then they turn around and win a shootout against Charlotte. So they've kind of had to do it both ways. And I think that'll help both their defense and their offense come into this game with some confidence. Hardison's got four touchdowns and no turnovers in the last two weeks. And they're finally running the ball better with Awa and Hankins. And they should be able to have success running the ball against this, against this Louisiana Tech team. At the end of the day, I just think UTEP's a better team than La Tech this year. La Tech stinks. And so a little bit of a heart pick. You know how we love Minor Nation on this pod. So when you need a win, you call up a friend. Plus 130 picks up. Well, first off, I appreciate you giving me the hat tip for being ballsy. I mean, cue up the Billy Napier, scared money, don't make no money, drop. When you put these two plays together, it's plus 650, according to Bet MGM. So go ahead and lock that one in. I, I agree with you. I think UTEP has, has looked dynamic, and they've done it in different ways. It, it's kind of my point with UNLV, where it's like, how can they beat you? Well, holistically, UTEP can do it defensively or offensively. So I really like that. 